Today we're talking Hive Records using bricks. Hello, welcome to Gwynny Griffith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now today I want to talk about Hive Records. So a couple of weeks ago, I was at a bee farmers uh, a training event called KEG Knowledge Exchange Group. I was talking there to um, much more experienced bee farmers than myself, and the conversation came to what kind of hive records do you guys keep? Now some people kept little bits of paper underneath the roof, some would just scribble on the roof and this one guy Charles had, had quite a unique idea, unique at the time that I thought that he had bricks and depending how he left the brick on the hive like that, like that, like that etc would mean something different so has already swarmed, wants a swarm, hasn't swarmed yet, uh, new queen laying, no need to inspect, that kind of information, depending on how the brick was placed. And I thought, that's a really good idea, I think I'm going to do something like that next year. A couple of weeks went by, I didn't do anything. And I was scrolling through Twitter, if you want to follow some bee farmers, Twitter is the place to go, they're all very active on Twitter, sharing tips, advice and just generally talking about how their day have gone. Now this other bee farmer called Becky, Becky from Becky's Bees, posted a video of a brick but with different colours on each side. Now I thought that is the best idea when you're talking hive records when it comes to bricks. Now I'm going to steal that idea. Obviously Charles gave me the, the idea originally with just the plain brick but Becky she took that to another level and I thought that is a brilliant way of keeping records. So I've written down on here what the different colour means and uh, I'm going to put a brick like this on every single hive that I've got and I think that's going to save me absolute hours and hours and hours over the season. So the way you place the brick is obviously you've got to pick away which direction you want the brick to face in. So for the sake of this video I'm going to choose if the colour of the brick is facing the entrance then that's what the brick means. Obviously you could have it if the brick, the colour facing up means that or behind, if you're coming from behind the hive that's up to you to decide. But for the sake of this video the colour in the front is going to mean what the colour means if that makes sense. So we'll start with red. So red means this hive wants to swarm, you've got to inspect it next week. So if I were to go to an apiary, I see all the red face in my direction. I know, right, I've got to do my red hives first, because if the rain comes or I lose light, etc., I want to be make I want to make sure that I've done all the high priority hives first. So red means they want to swarm and I've got to inspect them next week. Yellow. So for me, yellow means there's no intention of swarming there, but they still haven't swarmed. So it still could be a risk of swarming for next week, but it's not 100%. So the majority of my highs, I would have thought, as I'm going through the summer, they're going to be at this yellow stage where you don't have to inspect them, but it's worthwhile you do inspecting them because you just don't know. And um, I think that's a good use of the colour yellow. So the next colour is green. Now green means you've already split them and there's a new queen in there already laying. Now once you've got a new queen in there, this year's queen and she's already laying, there's no need to inspect that hive anymore for that season. The only inspections you need to do there is check the honey super, see how they're filling up if you've got to add honey supers on. So when I see green, there's no point in me wasting any time inspecting those bees. They will not swarm if they've got this year's queen in there. And you just know, green means leave them well alone, move on to the next one. And finally, white. White means you've already split them, 
but the new queen is not laying yet so you'll still have to inspect this hive in a couple of weeks to see if that new queen has made it successfully and she's laying obviously if not you need to do some work either introduce a new queen put some eggs in etc to get that hive viable well that's it that's my gonna be that's my new hive inspection notes for this year and possibly every year moving forward i absolutely love this color brick idea now i've gone with a four color system obviously with a brick you can go six and that's just up to you if you want to add another two uh notes or meanings into the brick then you can do that but I think that is absolutely genius. And um, like I said, I'm gonna, I've already got 100 of these bricks ready for this year. I've just got to paint them. Now I've spray painted that. Spray paint works really well, goes dry straight away. But spray paint has got a lot of nasty films. I think I'm going to roll the paint on I think for the rest of them once I run once the spray runs out I'm going to go masonry paint and paint the masonry paint on them it's going to be a better finish obviously it's going to take much longer to do but I just think that's going to be a better finish well that's it let me know in the comments if you like this idea or what currently you're using for hive inspection notes do you write on a piece of paper under the lid do you already use the brick system or you've got another system? I'd love to hear how you do it. Put it in the comments and put it in the comments whether you think this is a good idea or it's not a good idea, but let me know the reasons uh, for your decisions. Well, that's it for this video. If you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to put a new video out every week. Thanks for watching.